Yo, what's happening everyone? It's your boy here, the Rahim. We're back again with another great, amazing tech video. The video of today is all about the Apple event. If some of you guys don't know about that, Apple has a spring loaded event, something which is so great. So for further talk and further ado, let's get started and view this kind of event and see what's packed on this kind of event. And I'm going to share with you guys my thoughts. The all new, completely redesigned iMac is more personal more powerful and more capable than ever. iMac's new form mm -hmm. is stunning with a spectrum of vibrant colors. So you can choose the one that fits your own personal. It's minimalistic. I think we're going back to iPad dish layout, how much they keep the iPods on that kind of slick and slim way. Let's see how iMac it is. Style. We wanted it to feel light and optimistic while instantly brightening up any space. In contrast to the more neutral front, the back is designed to really celebrate. Whoa. I can see some USB type C. They're like four of them at the back, which impressive. They get they kept it minimal. I'm just impressed on how the new look it is, but the chin is bigger. Color with bold, richly saturated shades. In many places, the back of iMac, it's the first thing you'll see. So we created colors that would bring a sense of joy to any space. iMac has always been about its best in class display. So on the new iMac, we made the display an expansive 24 inches. Chain right is now, bigger. Borders, the chain is really big. Bigger display in a design that's only slightly larger than the 21 and a half inch iMac. And it has nearly... No bad. Uh, to be honest, I give it a go on the new layout. I'm impressed. This new layout looks retro-ish. Like back in the days, how they kept the IMAX. And um, I think, I understand, you might not feel it, but this looks retro-ish. It's really kind of impressive, really kind of minimal. I'm impressed. But the chin is bigger. I wish they could manage the chin. 1.3 million pixels in its 4.5K retina display. Add in the power and performance of M1 and Mac OS Big Sur. This experience is simply unrivaled. You can feel the difference immediately as iMac wakes almost instantly. Nice. So they toss in the M1 chip so you get faster performance. If you remember, guys, we discussed about the Apple M1 chips, how they perform, and it's really kind of impressive. And your apps launch with blazing speed. iMac is up to 85% faster than the previous 21 and a half inch iMac models. So you can compile new apps in Xcode in a fraction of the time. And when it comes to GPU performance, for certain apps like Affinity Photo and Photoshop, iMac is up to two times faster than the previous models. And it's even up to 50% faster than the most powerful discrete graphics in the fastest 21 and a half inch iMac. It has up to four USB-C ports, including two Thunderbolt ports for super fast data transfer and support for up to a 6K display, like the Pro Display XDR. And we created a new power connector that attaches magnetically. <laughs> okay there's a new power connector i like that i like that it's a really kind of ideal because if you have that kind of power connector coming outside that means the monitor um sorry guys the iMac it will be more flexible when you're just moving it on one place to another which it's really kind of convenient and as you can see guys there is a headphone jack here they kept it in a perfect position I'm impressed. Instead of keeping them at the back, they decided to keep it sideways. They could know this back in the days. It could be much better. But anyways, it's a refreshed iMac, I can call it. So it's quick and easy to connect. It has a two meter color match woven cable that leads to a small power adapter, which can be placed on the floor behind your desk. And for ethernet, check out this cool innovation. It connects to the adapter and runs through the power cable to keep your desktop less cluttered. So you can connect an ethernet cable throughout the adapter because the cord of the wire connects on the iMac display. You can choose from three types of keyboards with gorgeous aluminum enclosures, color match to iMac. First, there's a magic keyboard with new emoji, spotlight, dictation, and do not disturb keys. And a lock key to instantly lock iMac. Next, there's a magic keyboard with an exciting new feature. Touch ID, which comes to the Mac desktop for the first time. Bring a problem, drop a solution. You know what I mean? 
that's how the apple they usually do it but anyways this is how much they it works throughout the ecosystem of um, devices it's just that they'll be having two keyboards first of all the normal keyboard and uh, um, an extra feature which it's a touch id if you'd like we can keep it for you on the keyboard why not this fingerprint data transmission is made possible by a secure processor in the keyboard it communicates directly with the secure enclave in M1, creating an encrypted channel to protect your fingerprint data from end to end. And there's a magic keyboard with Touch ID and a numeric keypad too. Magic Mouse, loved by iMac users, now features color match aluminum. I wish, I wish I can cross my fingers that they are still, they are still charging it by flipping it and keeping the USB. I'm telling you, that thing is still there more years more coming that will still be there i don't know apple but maybe it's the time whereby you you flip your mouse like if this is my mouse i flip it i dock the usb cable the lightning and start charging it and buying me sometimes to do other things but if they could just keep it like other normal mouse that i don't know it's aesthetics is it aesthetics and magic trackpad who knows is still by far the industry's best has a refined shape Truck to pads. match the new keyboard. So that's the new iMac. With its extraordinary design, powerful performance, and incredible features, it starts at just $12.99. So the new iMac starts at $12.99, giving you an 8-core CPU and a 7-core GPU and an 8GB unified memory, and it comes with 256GB of SSD and a two Thunderbolt ports with a Magic Keyboard. Impressive. $14.99, iMac comes in seven colors. And an iMac will be coming with another kind of second version. It's a $14.99, which it will be having an eight core CPU and eight core GPU. Now, I think this is for the pro ones who would like to toss in more and more works. And you can even, I think, add more uh, SSD if you'd like, like 512, 1TB or 2TB, it's up to you. And it comes with a Magic Keyboard with a Touch ID. Impressive. I thought that the magic keyboard you just select it and if you would like to customize it I wish they could do that on the website. I cross my fingers. It might be there With these additional features You can order the new iMac starting April 30th And it will be so you can order the new um, iMac on April 30th Not bad. Available in the second half of May the M1 chip is not just in the Mac it's now in iPad Pro, and it's gonna blow you away. The next level performance that M1 unlocks on iPad Pro starts with its powerful CPU. Built around the world's fastest CPU core in low power silicon, the eight core design of M1 delivers a whopping 50% jump over the industry leading performance of the previous iPad Pro. It delivers a thousand nits of full screen brightness, a breathtaking 1600 nits of peak brightness, and a phenomenal 1 million to 1 contrast ratio, just like Pro Display XDR. Even with M1 and the other incredible new technologies, the 11 inch iPad Pro still starts at just $799, and the 12.9 inch model adds the stunning Liquid Retina XDR display for just $1099, an incredible value for such an incredible device. You can order iPad Pro starting April 30th, and it'll be available in the second half of May. This is AirTag. The next time the couch eats your keys, AirTag will help find them. AirTag is easy to use by itself or with beautiful accessories we've designed. So you can attach it to just about anything like your backpack, luggage, or whatever else you have. You can keep track of your AirTag right in the Find My app. Any iPhone with our U1 chip, like iPhone 12, uses helpful overlays to guide you directly to a lost item when it's nearby. As you move, Precision Finding uses our U1 chip to get the precise distance to your AirTag. iPhone fuses that data with input from the camera, accelerometer, and gyroscope to give you visual, haptic, and audible feedback, guiding you right to your AirTag. AirTag is designed to track items, not people. So we included safety features to discourage unwanted tracking, like unwanted tag detection, rotating identifiers, and audible alerts from unknown tags. So that's AirTag. AirTag is just $29. And because you likely have more than one important item in your life, a four pack is just $99.
Orders start this Friday, and AirTag will be available April 30th. We also worked with Hermes on a special handcrafted leather collection. A bag charm, luggage tag, and keyring, each including an AirTag etched with an Hermes signature. Apple TV 4K is now built with the A12 Bionic, bringing a new level of performance that will be a massive upgrade to your TV. And with the A12 Bionic, the new Apple TV 4K can now play HDR in high frame rate. This allows video to play more smoothly and appear more lifelike than ever before. With our new color balance feature, Apple TV will work with your iPhone and its advanced sensors to improve your TV's picture quality. Your iPhone uses its camera and proximity sensor to guide you to an on-screen target. Color measurements start automatically. Apple TV uses the light sensor in your iPhone to compare your TV's color balance to the industry standard specifications used by cinematographers worldwide. Of course, the way you interact with Apple TV is with the Siri remote. So this year, we completely redesigned it with new functionality and controls. It starts with a new one-piece aluminum design that fits perfectly in your hand. And with contrasting controls, you can easily find and hit just the button you want. We also have a brand new click pad with five-way navigation for better accuracy. And the entire click pad is touch enabled, preserving the fast directional swipes users love. And we did something pretty cool with the outer ring. We've given it a new circular gesture that turns it into a jaw control. Perfect for finding just the scene you're looking for. We've also made it the only remote you need for your TV. It now has a power button that controls your TV's power and another for mute. And we've moved the Siri button to the side, just like on your iPhone. It'll be available for $179 with 32 gigabytes or $199 with double the storage capacity. Perfect for enjoying even more apps and games. You can order them on April 30th and they'll be available in the second half of May. We're so excited to introduce a new gorgeous purple. It looks stunning with the precision milled back glass and new design. It has elements of sophistication and brightness with the color matched aluminum edges. It's absolutely beautiful. Purple joins the iPhone 12 lineup for pre-order this Friday, and it will be available on April 30th. That's what's up guys. I hope you enjoyed on this kind of overview of Apple event. It's really kind of great thing to showcase, to see new products from Apple. The review of today, the overview, not the review, but it's an overview of an Apple event. I hope you like it. Hit the thumbs up if you're new here. Consider subscribing to your homeboy here. And I'll be seeing your smiley faces on the next one. As always, stay sharp and creative. Kudos guys. Peace.